I didn't have a lot. I came up with nine brothers and sisters in a hard city like Newark where people dying every single day. One of my friends just died, by the way. Yes, I came up one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. It's a tough town, but you know, if you notice, any town is tough when you're out in the streets. You know, the streets are tough, period, wherever you go. But what happened here, you know, we've been able to keep my children and my grandchildren out of the streets so far. They portrayed Shakur as being a person that grew up in the project, had a rough street life, but he hasn't. He's had his bits and bats with just like any other kid in the city, but relatively, he's always been dedicated to boxing and been away from the streets with me. What's good, champ? This little dude, every time you come in, you start. <laughs> <laughs> Like What's going on, baby? You got champ? Right. From, you know, his birth to two years old, he would always be watching boxing with me. So one day, he just sat up around two years old, one and a half, two years old, and started punching. So once he started punching, <laughs> everything else was history. Stretch. He and I were best boxing day in and day out, day in and day out. I taught him right here in front of this house right here. This is our little training ground right here. Okay, ready, box, come on. Come on. Good. I didn't get him into boxing though intentionally. It's kind of like I worked, he was a kid. My father does boxing. It was a free after school opportunity and he picked him up from school and it just worked. You know, you leave the door open, the flies come in, so you want to make sure that shit is closed. I think his grind and his spirit come from me, and once he get a one hit a quitter, then I say he take after his father. His father got a one hit a quitter. Explain what a one hit a quitter Mean is. I hit you, I'm going to knock you smooth out. That's your daddy. There you go. Now you want your ass. In my amateur career, in my, on my whole Olympic team, I felt like I was the top guy going into Rio. Like I was undefeated overseas. I had a great amateur career. I finished off with a silver medal, and I'm only 19 years old. America ain't have a silver medal since 2000. They had this parade out here. Streets were crowded down here, man. And everything was packed. All of them was here to see the tent. Thank you to everybody that came out from Newark. I appreciate everything y'all did for me, all the support. When I was uh, in Rio, I was fighting, I was thinking about North, like I had, I had the city on my back. I'm more of a fighter who uses his head in the ring and gonna pick you apart and dominate you. And if I take you out, I'm gonna take you out too, because I got a little bit of power too. We're good, we're back, we're back. What's that, so we're good. I'm gonna make sure I hit you and you don't hit me. I'm a student of the game. Like, I came up watching Pinnell Whitaker, Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard, watch some old Sugar Ray Robinson tapes. I pick up and I learn things very quick. Like, I plan on starting off at 126 and then taking over every division. And then I want all on green, all on green belts that Floyd had. In the next five to 10 years, I'm gonna be couple times division world champ. I want to be bigger than what Mayweather was. <laughs>